worship. So, I'm still trying to wrap my mind around this. We went to an ancient rune where you consumed a pool of elven... elfiness, and then walked through a mirror, and wound up back here. Have I mentioned that the shit that happens to you is crazy? I don't want to think about this anymore. You want to discuss something normal? Carry on. Why did you do it? I warned you not to. Solus. You gave yourself into the service of an ancient elven god! What does that mean, exactly? You are Mithal's creature now. Everything you do, whether you know it or not, will be for her. You have given up a part of yourself. I have not become Mithal's slave. Not yet. But if you remove the layer of nostalgia from stories of the Elven Gods, you might see the danger. They were arrogant and fickle. They warred amongst themselves. They had feuds, vendettas. And you are bound to one of them now. I suppose it is better you have the power than Corypheus. Which leads to the next logical question. What will you do with the power of the well once Corypheus is dead? I'll use whatever power I have to undo the chaos that Corypheus and his allies have caused. You would put things back the way they were before? Yes. I mean, not exactly. I know what you mean. Thank you. For what? You have not been what I expected, Inquisitor. You have... impressed me. You honor the past, and work to recover what was lost, even if the cost is high. I respect that. And I am indebted to you for the reminder. Forgive my melancholy. Corypheus has cost us much. The Temple of Methal did not deserve such a fate. The orb he carries, and its stolen power. That, at least, we may still recover. With luck, some of the past may yet survive. You planning to leave before we take down the bad guy? No. But there may not be a later. It seemed wise to say my goodbyes now. What happened at the Elven Temple? It's got me thinking. I should go back, shouldn't I? To Tavinta. Once this is done, if we're still alive. All my talk of how terribly wrong things are back home. But what do I do about it? Nothing. How does this relate to the Elven Temple? That elf, Abelas. He said the Imperium wasn't what destroyed the Elves. My people would never accept that. It would reduce us to scavengers, destroy our legacy no matter how terrible. But we should accept it. Take our history down a peg. Confront the legacy hanging over us like a shroud. Maybe not all of us want to, but that could be altered. If you can change minds, so can I. Someone with your impeccable taste could transform to Vinter. I hope you're right. You usually are. It might surprise you to know that you're the one who inspired me. You're shaping the world, for good or ill. How could I aspire to do any less? If it means proving that Tevinta can be better, that there's hope even for my homeland, I would do anything. The Inquisitor's work is never done, I see. I should go. I was pondering who might be divine, and it suddenly occurred to me. Is it so ridiculous for the Grand Clerics to support me? Why shouldn't they? 
If you were divine, what would you do? Change things. Change everything. Your support of the Mage Rebellion was a good start. We must build on this. No more circles. The Mages will be free. The Chantry will accept them as the Maker's children. In fact, it will accept everyone. Elves, Dwarves, even Canari. Why exclude them? The Chantry allows our differences to tear us apart, instead of teaching us how we are the same. I think you would make a good Divine. I am glad to hear it. Your support may persuade the Grand Clerics to vote in my favor. Justinia wanted the Chantry to grow, but her reforms never took root. She was held back by tradition and was too gentle to force change. I will make that mistake. You never know, Justinia might have succeeded if she hadn't been caught in a giant blast of magic. I won't make that mistake either. Justinia thought the circles needed to change. But why stop there? The Chantry alienated potential allies by brutalizing elves and belittling dwarves. If we could bring them into the fold, wouldn't we have peace? There are those who would cling to the old ways, of course. But they will see. I would make them see. I would have rambled on too long. I am not divine. So if we kill Corypheus, he has the power to move from one tainted creature into another? What we will learn next? That he can command the sun to rise or the seas to burn? No matter how powerful he is, there's a way to defeat him, and we'll find it. I hope you're right. I have researchers scouring the Temple of Mythol as we speak. I hope that their search turns up something we can use. Ancient magic, perhaps. Something even Corypheus missed. Anything to give us an edge? I'll leave you to your work. Though all before me is shadow, yet shall the Maker be my guide. I shall not be left to wander the drifting roads of the beyond. For there is no darkness in the Maker's light. And nothing that he has wrought shall be lost. A prayer for you. For those we have lost, and those I am afraid to lose. I've seen a god, or so she claimed. Perhaps you did. I cannot say for certain. Does that make what I believe any less real? I've questioned it at times, but I found comfort in faith when life offered little. Corypheus will retaliate. It's only a matter of time. We must draw strength wherever we can. Unless he gets bored and surrenders. Any chance of that? <laughs> I doubt it. I do not like having that mirror, Illuvian, in Skyhold. Corypheus may not be able to travel through it, but what if something else can? I don't think Morrigan would keep it here if that were true. Yes. Morrigan said as much when I asked her. Oh? She said I was unreasonable, then offered to explain how the Illuvian works using words with less than four syllables. Ah. The Circle had a library. I'm fairly well read. Right. I'm not unreasonable. That's all for now. I'm sure you have other matters to attend. Perhaps it's a good thing I'm not a real warden. Necessary, we could have left you in Skyhold, but now we don't need to. You can get close enough to Corypheus to kiss him now. I hope that's not an order. 
Nothing right now. Perhaps in a bit. Welcome back. Corypheus died, and then he didn't. That's why he always felt wrong, like he didn't fit inside himself. He wears another man's life. I thought dying was forever. It's hard for any of us to make sense of. Corypheus is using ancient magic. Is he real? If a man can be dead and then not... Could I have saved the real Cole? What happened to him wasn't your fault. His hands were bruised from beating on the wall. It was dark, like the cabinet where he hid to escape his father. His belly hurt like knives, throat cracked dry. He was alone. I pushed through and held his hand. It was all I could do. He said, thank you. Thank you. Yeah. Listen, stand there. Right there. Now, about Mithal. Don't aim that in my face, Sarah. What is wrong with you? What's wrong with me? What's wrong with you? If that is you. I mean, you went wading into a well of sorrows. Who hears that and thinks, well, Dunkerbutt, let's have a go. Even mad old Abelas said elves destroyed themselves. The only believable bit in a sea of clear demon bait. It makes messing with their relics real stupid. So, test done, you're still you. We can leave these lies behind. How is aiming an arrow at my face a test? I heard once that if you're possessed, the demon will defend itself against attack. Sounds stupid to say it out loud. I don't know, I don't know demons. At least if it's true, the arrow's right there. I'm sorry, yeah? Morrigan's probably got better ways, but who can trust her? So, your main takeaway is that elves worship demons? Well, they never call them that, yeah? But that's what it had to be. I mean, it was impressive and all. Makes the Dalish look like tits for living in the woods, but so what? There can't be a bunch of gods, and the Maker. Don't matter how much or little you believe, those don't fit. So call me stupid, but I believe the stuff not made up by dead people who failed. Mithal is a ruin full of demons. I mean, it just makes sense, right? I'm with you. Everything in that temple was highly suspect. Of course it was. You can't be herald and think otherwise, yeah? I mean, that would just be daft. So, main takeaway, we got really weird power and we can throw it at Corypheus whatever. Fighting shite with shite. It's like poetry or something, I don't know. Get a bard on that. We should go slap hands in the tavern. So to kill Corypheus, all we have to do is kill his dragon first? That's easy. We're good at killing shit. Just one more big fight to put this magister asshole down for good. I knew you'd get us here, boss. It's been an honor, Bull. Ah, oh, don't get like that. This isn't goodbye. We're kicking this guy's ass. It comes swiftly, this moment that would be spoken of for ages. The day the Herald of Andraste challenged the Darkspawn that thought itself a god. Defeat him, and you'll be more than a holy man to the people. You'll enter legend. I couldn't have come this far without the Inquisition at my back. And there is the modesty people respect. 
People joined the Inquisition after hearing you were blessed, but they've stayed because of how you lead. I wanted to tell you that I shared their sentiments, Inquisitor, and... Well, I suppose I just did. You've always been there for us, Josephine. And for me. It means much to hear you say that. Farewell, my lord. When you face Corypheus, may you walk in the light. My dear, I know you must have a great deal on your mind right now, but I need to speak with you. You know as well as I how far the Inquisition's influence has spread, and how desperate the Grand Clerics have become. Our opinion will be instrumental in their election of the new Divine. They want Liliana and Cassandra as candidates. The Inquisition may not be invited to their vote, but our actions will certainly influence the Grand Clerics. To sit on the Sunburst throne, a candidate should have grace, charm, and a will of solid steel. Cassandra may lack the first two, but unless you can think of someone better, she is the strongest choice. What would your ideal divine do with her power? The most important thing, of course, is the restoration of the Circles and the Templar Order. The institutions that have protected Sadas for ages must be rebuilt and the malcontents utterly crushed. We cannot allow anarchists to threaten the lives of the innocent. After we have restored sanity to the world, there will be time to address voices of dissent. Where can we find candidates outside of the Chantry? There must be someone other than Leliana or Cassandra. The Chantry is already desperate. They would not look to unordained women if they had any choice. You may have better luck searching the halls of the Imperial Court. There are many women serving the Empire who have the necessary presence and acumen. I think Cassandra would be best for the job. Cassandra is our only hope of restoring order after all this chaos. I knew you would see it as I do. We will have to be very mindful of everything we do and say, for the Conclave certainly is doing the same. If they look to the Inquisition to provide a sign of the Maker's will, we will have to give them the right one. It's been quite the momentous day, hasn't it, my dear? How do you feel? It's not every day one absorbs ancient elven magic. It was strange at first, but I think I'm all right now. Good. We can't have you falling to pieces on the eve of such an important battle. The pieces are nearly in place. We'll soon strike against Corypheus directly. You've done well. I will be proud to fight alongside you when the time comes. <laughs>